So before everything else, before the protests and the politician and the woman campaigning so hard right now to enter parliament, I'm a feminist. I'm a radical queer feminist, period. Okay, unapologetic. I'm currently contesting to become a woman member of parliament. A year ago, I was a convicted prisoner. Why? Because I wrote a poem criticizing Yuri Museveni, perhaps using language that was deemed a little too strong. The justice system does not work for us! Oh, Fuck you! <laughs> Yuri Museveni is so invested in retaining his hold on power and he has promised to unleash more violence contesting in their space in their corridors on their time during their very unorganized elections and i'm saying to you dictator Museveni, you must go we've had enough of you Jagalabu Papula Navy Papula. What? 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 I'm an activist. I've done a lot of activism, particularly against the abuse of human rights, of women's rights, of sexual and gender minority rights in Uganda. We are seeing the climax. The, the build of the dictatorship. And so reclaiming our institutions from this nepotism and the militarization that's everywhere, education and health and public housing and public roads, the issues I cry about all the time, we need to rebuild it. <laughs> The police is just but one institution or of, of armed personnel that has been taken over totally by the dictatorship and what they do is in the service of entrenching Yuri Museveni in power. Are we surprised therefore if they are shooting at Ugandans to wound and maim and kill them? We're not surprised. Oh, power, people, power. If I can be harassed like this, tear gas and pepper spray. Uh, now I'm being arrested. As you can see, I'm being arrested. Hey, he's a presidential candidate. The natural response and reaction to all this brutality would be to fear and maybe retreat. But I think we must keep resisting along with the fear. The fear should not paralyze us. <laughs> At the risk of sounding crude, I don't think we need more vaginas in Parliament. I've made this point many times. It matters what sort of vagina is entering parliament. So part of my critique of the women's quarter is that many of these women enter parliament, but suddenly it's as if their vaginas close and they grow pennies. And they forget all about women issues. They forget about the challenges of everyday women in the streets. Salam, <laughs> 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 
tuwe wale vinzo tugu wako Na ye 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 Agambe chinja chinja Kuse sani ye gombe Kwa teke nde wawe vika ambe vyo Kambo wawe wakubandi mkande I think what makes my protests memorable is that often I have been written off and one did not expect any form of response. And I think the most spectacular, the naked body, the swinging of big breasts, suddenly the whole world stopped. Maybe to look at my nipples, but also to ask and question, what are the issues behind this naked woman? <laughs> I keep asking myself the same question. Why was I imprisoned? All I did was write a poem that I think every Ugandan with ability to write some literature should have written. I don't believe for one moment that anything that I did was criminal. To tell Yoweri Museveni that he's a pair of buttocks or to say to him that I wish his mother's vaginal canal had squeezed him to death. And I think that I was arrested and charged for my audacity. I have been asked, not once but twice since my release, Mama, where is the mom that was, went to Luzida Women Prison? The person that came out is a very different person. We, we miss the old you. And I've had to explain to them what trauma does to a person and how perhaps the first mother, the innocent, dreamy mother that went into Luzira prison may never come back. Kasera kazigi zigi, tuli mo kunaba tukola dotu doyo na ye no retu lebe fikana tuno musigaza TV, musigaza radio, musigaza internet. Kati maichi drive chiji inja gaza chia temwe ha oba mule mbe kunoga dot com. Yano ye moto ke so sense je mani ye moto ka otula moto ka no beira gati ba kula ba uli kuma uli le gati ba muthi ba kuno ba kula ba. Flat shoes, high heels, doesn't matter. Does it matter? Oh, this is Radio 4, 103.3. It is owned by a pro NRM Museveni diehard. I make sure I come all the time so that I can play in their airtime. So, yeah. Hi, Barbara. Where is the tea today? There's no tea? So, although it's, although it's Museveni radio station, I come and take tea. Because of Barbara, I don't think she'll poison me. To be not in a room. I'm a simple good day. As you were, you said there were any other M to prove President Museveni to Mazala, available. Let's look at the camera, Nama Sina, the Java, the Chavo in Kanya, Nakamna. Kakas to get a Kubikwa, Tabi, to do this over to get a Kufuna to Tia, between a massive between a camera. Akarega ni na kanele, esimu ege na mukarega, bulimu munda katinda wa msirikale yepala jiranga jaku hata mukarega kanga, toga ambavele, ajemu esimu ya. Aha, kato ni mukovi. Ayi, singa katingore wana agamba, mwe esimu ze sato, mwe jazire tawansi, mwosa za mwako raja kukura yu tuwansa na jie, tarente bongo na hatu kubono. Ale, bye people. Bye Adam. See you the other Thursday. I'm still working on myself, trying to find that Stella that my children are looking for. She may never be there. Vote for me. Uh, vote for you. Yes, please. And I think as long as Yoweri Museveni is still in my face, the expectation that I will become a less agitated activist is a failed expectation. She talks openly. I see her, the, she has the guts of being a Kampala woman MP. We are waiting after Bobby's election. We shall elect her if she comes back. I will keep advocating and criticizing and speaking back at the dictator, no matter what the cost. And I suppose I'm putting up a dare to him that should he run in 2026, I might run against him. And I'll give him the toughest race he's ever met. And if Bobby Wine has been bad news, he better wait for a female Bobby Wine. <laughs>